There we go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. what's up, you guys? <laughs> Man, listen. Um, well, first off, happy 420 for those that are partaking. Um, yeah. It's yeah. an international holiday. And if you don't know, then that's what you don't know. So uh, moving right along, um, we are back. Uh, sorry for the delay. Um, I had a little emergency last week that needed to be handled. Uh, thanks for everyone that sent in messages and reached out. Um, my little sugar guy, my old man, had to have surgery. So Definitely took the week off and uh, needed some time to relax with him and kick back. So we appreciate uh, you bearing with us, but we are back. We are here and there's been a lot of sports. Like even as I was trying to like, you know, work on some topics or whatnot, there was a couple of mm-hmm. things that I didn't realize. Like I didn't know Von Miller was a Buffalo Bill. <laughs> I, I, I missed that one on, on like the thousand, you know, little messages and notifications I get on my phone. So that was interesting. Um, yeah, when did that happen? Happened on Saturday or Sunday this weekend. Yeah, before we get into it, though, I need to uh, have a discussion with Verizon Wireless right now. Man, because listen. I'm lying for what you're doing to me today that I don't even know how many lives you've destroyed across this upper West Coast, Seattle, California, everywhere, on the West Mine. Coast of the country. Like, yeah. I cannot call you. You cannot call me. The best way to text is or communicate is text. Is text. Yeah. And then they put out a tweet talking about if it's an emergency, you need to text nine one one because you can't call nine one one. But why text is it that I'm able to get some calls but not all calls? I'm not getting any calls. I mean, I was able to call my mom yesterday and last night, but then me calling you today, or I had a couple calls earlier this morning, and then yesterday that didn't go through. They were like, oh, it just rings and rings and rings. I'm like, so what's happening? Check this out. It started with me at 12 o'clock this afternoon. I'll never forget it. (laughs) I'll never forget it. Because I had to FaceTime him (laughs) to see where he was. You know, we've gone our separate ways, and you can't call and say, hey, where'd you go? No. (laughs) Had to FaceTime him. So shout out to that, that that worked. But calls, yeah, forget about it. Hey, all I can say is if this is going to be the thing with these cellular phone company stuff, you might want to get with your cable company or whoever you have phone service with and get the phone line and get the landline. Because Listen. it looks like the cell phones are not being reliable. The fact that you have to text 911 is just an issue. But what's the problem? Has anyone, has Verizon made a statement? Is there anything out there, especially as to what's happening? Shout out to my boy Rashad, who said he stayed on a phone for an hour, because he had time. Verizon. (laughs) um, Talking about, they said something about them uh, updating our services or doing some kind of service update. I don't Why know. wouldn't you send us out like a mass text or an email I, that says, they hey. They didn't do any of that. They texted me about that bill, though. They definitely <laughs> texted me about that bill. <laughs> so I, I, pay, I paid the bill. And then at 12 o'clock noon, services. Crap. So they're waiting I, for a credit on the bill. Man, listen, I feel like that's what I, you owe us. It was a number eight. It went from number five to number eight trending topic on Twitter today. Wow. Yo. There's a lot of us rising customers out there. We're just a little tight right now. There's a lot know, of us. My service is working because my phone hasn't been ringing. I haven't called anybody. I tried calling my mom. And <laughs> right. That didn't work. The phone ain't ringing. I'm like, dang. Yeah. I mean, wow. It's dead. And that's no fine. love today. Because like I said, I'm watching that Ultimatum show on Netflix, and I don't need any interruptions on that because that thing is just. It fire just seems right now. really crazy that that's what we got to deal with. Yeah. Shout out to my cousin. I can't call you, Derek, but you know, I'm glad <laughs> you're watching. Well, and it's funny because. I've had, I've seen people post like Verizon angry face or Verizon question mark. And those that aren't Verizon are thinking, oh, they must be talking about the service. And should I get service through there? And so everybody's chiming in like, oh no, T-Mobile. It ain't about that. It's about that right now there's a breakdown in service. Yes, there is. And the fact that Verizon (laughs) always runs smoothly in my entirety of having Verizon, I've been no other customer but Verizon. Listen, when the next same. Came out, before like it was singular, I was yeah, singular course, before yeah. it turned into Verizon. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So for this to even have a hiccup on 420 of all days, and I'm and I'm actually having to go into work for customer stuff, <laughs> and I'm trying to call them and I can't call and communicate. I have to call them from the store phone. They don't pick it up because they think it's a robocall. I mean, I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Hey, what's up, Goose? What's up, Goose? Yeah. <laughs> it's all on Verizon, man. I don't even want to spend time. Let's just talk to the sport. I just had to say that right now because I was just on the edge with them. 
Okay. Well, yeah. I did want to say, um, you know, again, welcome to the show. We're back. Um, please make sure that you follow us and check us out on uh, YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, of course, our Facebook and our Facebook group pages. Uh, next Wednesday, we will be having a show. It will be a special after dark episode yes. okay so we're gonna i don't know the exact time yet we'll make sure everybody knows ahead of time but next wednesday we may even be going live from a remote location so just stay tuned and and be ready for it but i know something that will get a smile back on your face mo who's that yes <laughs> your prayers have been answered i don't know if kaz shout out to kaz i don't shout know if kaz, kaz. Shout out had to anything to do with this shout out you know to we pressed him hard Parker. about it shout out to all the celebrities that chimed in and tweeted and put out the manifestation uh thank you kaz for allowing me to manifest when you mentioned the word talk to taco bell manifest uh the mexican pizza coming back because it's back baby Next month, I'm ready. Yes. Yeah, so ready. if you're a loyalty member, you'll get early access on May 17th. Otherwise, it will permanently be on the calendar or be on the menu uh, on May 19th. So yeah, I know that that's where you'll inside. be. You're going to be there for the next however many. You're going to be there like every day probably. The fat girl get... inside and out of me right now is, is dancing. <laughs> Like, I'm so, because, you know, the issue why they didn't, they took the Mexican pizza off the menu is because the packaging. It wasn't sustainable. It wasn't, renew, it wasn't like a recycle. It wasn't, the energy for it was not there. So they figured out and mastered a way of packaging that is into the whole recyclable and renewable energy kind of But wasn't concept. the packaging in like a box before? It was, but the, I guess the box wasn't a environmentally conscious box. So now they come up with a way to have an environmentally conscious box. But it's a box. It's cardboard. It, you can recycle No, the that. box isn't cardboard. Oh, I thought it was cardboard. Back in the day, it was. Girl, that was the 80s uh, Mexican pizza. That's what it used to come oh, black man. olives and chives. This is the new brand. Uh, oh, my god! With, with paper and stuff. But anyway, um, yeah. It's back. <laughs> Dolly Parton, Doja Cat, Kaz, all of you guys. Uh, I appreciate the love because we were all tweeting about that thing. Doja Cat was on a concert tour and broke down on stage about the Mexican pizza. I mean, it's serious. I get it. She got her wish. She should definitely she be did. getting a, a cut of that check. She should. She should be the <laughs> spokesperson, do a commercial and everything. So, it, latest news came out. I know me and you were really into winning time. Of course, you know, mm -hmm. I watched the latest episode Sunday. I'm sure you did, too. Oh, yeah. I just can't get enough of the show. I love the Great. acting. I love the storyline. Hence, the storyline. These are, this is real-life events that are, you know, fabricated or that are, you know, made in, or a drama, what do they call it, dramatization yeah, it's based happening. off the book of Showtime that was written right. eons ago. And it has so now, like Hollywood appeal. You know, they're adding little things that we don't yeah, know for course. sure if they're true or not. Well, Mr. Jerry West, the logo, um, has demanded an apology and retraction from HBO in regards to how they portrayed him in Winning Time. Yeah, okay. So same problem that Urban Magic Johnson has, same problem that Kareem I has. I mean, but they just they're didn't like it. They said they're not going to watch it. They're well, not going to do it. Kareem chimed in off of Jerry West's issue. He's piggybacked off of it. Yeah. He, he basically said, you made Magic look like he was a sexual, hypersexual simpleton. You made me look like a pompous, arrogant person. And you made uh, Jerry West look like a drunk, angry, all the time type of person. When we know, if you know Jerry West is total opposite of that to a certain degree, May have had some manic episodes due to his depression. He actually has <laughs> talked about his mental illness and that kind of thing. But this is dramatization, you guys. Did Jerry I guess bust it's part of the story. Like I'm sure he had work. I, I'm not going to dispute that he probably didn't have work. But I'm just saying, you know, they, they're, they're, it's an over dramatization of what what the people really are. We know this, and, okay. Yeah. And then there's so many that you don't know for real, for real. Like there was one that I don't know. It was Hayward were actually dating Amon before oh, yeah, he was Amon. Was married to Amon. Okay. Yeah. yeah like there's you know, and then Richard, seeing Richard Pryor in there offering you know yeah. little drugs that's and white girls. <laughs> yeah, it's not to back up <laughs> there. He came Hilarious. out of nowhere on that roll. Like, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was but so see, good. It, oh, see, their characters are over, are not overshadowed. The way Jerry West's behavior is. 
does not make me hone in on Jerry West like, whoa, he's really like that. I'm yeah. more interested in the story of building yes. the championship. I'm more yes. focused on the coaching side of it, seeing Pat Riley develop. You know, no one's like, worried about Jerry West. Only be, we were only worried about him to begin with. We were like, oh wow, he didn't want magic. Like okay, and now yeah. it's like, who cares what Jerry West says right. or does? Like he's right. bumping his way on planes. He's listen, trying to sir. be there and make decisions, even though he's not with the organization. You know, it's just listen, it, it's sir, a lot. you don't lose any type of, of <laughs> any kind of you know uh, judgment or anything from me. You will always be the logo. You will always be a Laker legend. You're one of the best GMs we've ever had. Come on, I'm never gonna that none of that negates. And it just made me feel before. like it's just a little too extra for him to be doing this. Like who what, what who on his like legal team was like, yeah, this is a great idea, Jerry. Like let's do this. Like, no. It was gonna happen with or without him. You know what I mean? This is what happens when we do uh, narration based off of some sort of the truth. You know? Right. And, and it's just for us to dissect. But I'm not gonna hone in and be like, oh, Jerry West, you really were crazy like that. No. If, it's if like you know if we now, story, if, you know, that's right. Like, well, and now that he's done this, almost like it's made it more like a microscope. Like now I want to, now I'm going to yeah, be looking at it. <laughs> now smoke, now I'm checking him out to see exactly what his character is doing. Right. Um, smoke and <laughs> yeah. So we, we saw last week, not this past week, but a week ago on winning time was we saw Irving Johnson passing down the Nike deal. He was, they had no money. They were going to give him like 18 cents a share, blah, blah, blah. Well, there's a new movie that's being worked on uh, in the works with da uh, uh, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. They're going to be portraying Sonny Vaccaro, who was on Winning, who played, was had a character on Winning Time who was trying to approach um, Irving Madge Johnson, and Ben Affleck, who's going to be uh, playing the co-founder, Phil Knight. And this will be going over Nike's efforts to sign Michael Jordan in his sneaker deal back in 1984. So Yeah, I wonder who's going to play Jordan. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Hopefully it's somebody that's actually tall. Because that's the one gripe I have about winning time is that Irvin Johnson, who's supposed to be 6'9", in the, is, is portrayed by a character who I think is maybe like 6'2". So you see him and Cookie are like literally a few inches apart in some scenes. and other scenes, you see the angles are different just trying to make him look taller. And, right. and they must have lowered ceilings at some point because they're trying to make him look like they're high up. In this. Wow. Yeah, I just that's, that's one thing I couldn't do. I don't know who but. they're going to have. Maybe Zeke from Power? I don't know, but you know, in Michael Jordan's lifespan, he's been estimated to have made one point three billion dollars from Nike. When Magic could have made five point two, <laughs> just off stocks. <laughs> yeah, he, he never lets that down. I wouldn't let it right. down either. I'd be an old person in my hundreds talking about that stock plus Nike stock. Right. I mean, be whittling away still on the Nike stock thing. <laughs> my legacy be like he's still on that. Yeah. <laughs> for real yes he's still on it what you mean uh, <laughs> stock outlives me what you mean jeez so of course i'll be excited to watch that i think everybody will i mean this is where nike really took off nike was still nothing back then when they were trying to get jordan right you know back then it was only adidas and converse um yeah. so it should be very interesting um, on to a little bit of hockey news. Shout out to Marshawn Lynch and Macklemore, who became uh, minority investors in the Kraken. Here's a picture of uh, Marshawn, of course, with Cam Chancellor, Cliff Avril, Sidney Rice, some of the old school Seahawk guys that, um, that were around during championship era. And of course, that was the night they win. They win a game when Marshawn and the old Seahawks be coming through. But Marshawn... Uh, and the guys, a um, man, that's gotta I, hurt that you see the legends of Leg Legion of Boom and you won't see that for a while. Listen, that's why that picture meant so much to me. I was I like, mean, man, it has to. That's if you like put Earl perfect. Thomas in there, it, and uh, it just, yeah, I don't know. But the Kraken even meant the CEO had mentioned in a, in a statement that they didn't even, we weren't even looking for investors, they didn't need investors, but that because. Marshawn Lynch and, and Macklemore were so invested in the community and trying to bring diversity to the community. Um, I guess Marshawn's going to be heading up uh, the NHL's uh, hockey campaign, which is called For Everyone, or the NHL's Hockey is for Everyone campaign. So he's going to be um, working with, on that with the NHL, and apparently he's going to be shadowing the CEO of the Kraken around just to kind of see the ins and outs of hockey CEO operations, maybe you know, he's got bigger dreams. Maybe there's other teams he's looking at getting into too. So, mm -hmm. uh, and I know we played it, I think we had it on our, uh, I think he had posted on our, um, on our story, but of course, 
Marshawn is Marshawn, and, and here is him on the Zamboni. In the <laughs> it's straight though knees on that thing. I've never seen anybody do that on Sam. Ever. Ever. Life. I didn't know those Zambonis can move like that. that. Le leave it up to him to be the one to do it. It works out. So any Bay Area too, you know, they do that. We're gonna see Zambonis on low riders pretty soon. Like we're gonna put a low rider with a little <laughs> Who flips a who gets a donut in the Zam? <laughs> like I'm trying to say Yeah, like I'd be like, gosh. And Kenji said he's getting him a crack in jersey ASAP. Hey, listen. The, and hey, not to mention, the colors not, are... The and colors are fire. Listen. Like, that, that picture yes, was fire. Sir. You know what I mean? Like, it made it look real good. Hey, Nat. He, she says, uh, can you tell them I want to write it now that we have an inside connection? <laughs> right. Shoot. Who do we know that can get us in the right. golden nights with the Zamboni situation? Listen, let me work. tell you, they usually only open it for season ticket holders. One of my girlfriends um, that I worked, they used to work with, her daughter rode one uh, before the game, the, the last Blackhawks game. And you have to like be a season ticket holder or have some kind of like connection, deep connection. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So I'm excited for Beast Mode. And then shout out to Brandy and to uh, Marisha Lynch, who, a SAP, who, yeah. you know, have been friends of the show and have been doing well. They both were super excited posting about the news. It sounded like this had been something that was in the works for the past year and that the NHL had just um, officially, I guess, agreed Release. to it or allowed it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, and, and amazing as it may seem, um, after being gone for a week, we didn't seem to have a lot of Los Jugadores Locos topics to really go over. There was one that I did see, which was a little interesting. We usually, you know, I guess we got to keep it fair. We always show a lot of male athletes that are getting in trouble. Well, here's another, here's a different one. This is um, Shoni Shamel. You may recognize her from the WNBA. She was a two-time All-Star for the Dream, also played for the Liberty, helped Louisville um, in the NCAA uh, tournament. She went. She was arrested yesterday for an incident that occurred back in June of 2021. She was charged with strangulation of date of her, of her, of her partner she was dating, resulting in a substantial bodily harm. On the Umatilla Indian Reservation. Oh, Let me just crazy. tell you, I am very familiar with Umatilla because we used to have to drive through there all the time to get from Seattle to my mom's family in Idaho. And so she apparently this happened on the Indian Reservation. She had gotten arrested back then and released. But then the not only the tribal police, but the FBI got involved because the Federal Bureau of Investigations, they basically have power over like the 200 Indian Reservations. So now the FBI is involved come to almost a year later and she got charged yesterday. She got arrested yesterday. She's facing up to 15 years in jail wow. and a $250 fine. Uh, yeah. Well, when you mess with the, when it's a reservation, it's a more severe type of crime. Yeah. You know, always. So that doesn't really you can't be around, me, period. You gotta keep your hands to yourself. So you know, like for real, like in these domestic <laughs> situations, be on uh, same sex or not, like you gotta keep your hands to yourself as best as you can, man. Like this or it's deal crazy. with those consequences. You know what I mean? Well, you definitely gotta deal with consequences. Yeah. And her consequences sound pretty stiff. Yeah. Shout out to Andre Wade also in the chat. Yes, Mr. Wade in the chat. Yes. Hey, Kente, I see you talking about the Bulls. They are on right now. We will talk about the NBA shortly. I'm definitely keeping an ear peeled. And we will keep this show to yeah, an hour so I can watch it, that dog. second like half. 31 28 right now. You're Listen, they crazy. hung in there tough. Last on they for did. game one, they were only down by like two points with like uh two points with like four or three or four minutes left, and then kind of let it go. But it wasn't a blowout like I had thought it could be, and I'm glad for that. However, you can tell they definitely could use Lonzo Ball. Well, I mean, if they split and take a home court from Milwaukee, that's going to be pretty interesting because that seems to be the trend right now. That happened last it night. It would be nice with uh, Phoenix. Nice. So yeah, you know. Yep, yep. Um, just to go over some Las Vegas sports, our Vegas Gold Knights are scraping to try and make the playoffs. This will be the first year since their, their inaugural season five years ago. 
that they won't have made the playoffs. So it's a little mm. difficult. They lost to an easy New Jersey team last on Monday, which really could have been a, a key factor in them making the playoffs. So now we're um, behind the Kings, I believe, by like three points to try and get that last little spot. And we only have five games. And I hope we can get it. It's bad. It's been real bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, some other Vegas news. The match is returning, and it's coming to Las Vegas, the Win Las Vegas golf course. But this time, there's no pro golfers, no PGA golfers on the tour. This is just going to be the oldies versus the newbies. You got um, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers versus Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes. It's going to be June 1st here in Las Vegas at the Wynn uh, Golf Course. They've already been talking a lot of smack. Shoot, they haven't used yeah, it at all. Right. <laughs> I really enjoyed Tom Brady's post about it, too, because he's really been going in on the two young guys, too. <laughs> the old versus young. And one yeah. old still playing. Exactly, exactly. You talk less about him. It should be good. Hey. That's a good match, though. I like it. It's a good match. It'll be like funny. It. Although, I'm, I guess they picked, I mean, I didn't, I was kind of like Josh Allen, like, uh, but I guess Josh Allen like is, it. he's like, a, he's, a, I guess between him and Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes, they're like the two biggest younger guys in the NFL that really enjoy golf. And they're so both they felt the AFC, this was like, so I love the conversation. I would love the talk that they have. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Playing together. Exactly, exactly. Um, our Las Vegas Aces are back at camp. Becky Hammond is out coaching these ladies. Um, I had taken a little snippet of video that they had done during a Zoom call today. Um, she was asked kind of about, you know, the transition after getting the Spurs, they had just finished up and, and moving on to the Aces and what she was surprised about with the girls and what she was getting to know from the girls and what she looked forward to and working with the, in, with the ladies of the Aces. Here's what she had to say. I want to learn moving forward is obviously just getting to know the girls uh, better. Um, I'm a relationship oriented uh, type leader. And so I think um, getting to know these girls and uh, learning what makes them tick, learning about their, um, you know, their past, um, how they grew up and, and their experiences um, all helps me kind of put a picture together on how to best communicate, how to best motivate um, my team. So I, I guess the, the relationships and, and just getting to know the girls is what I look forward to the most. Now, and that's just something that you don't hear right. often, maybe from a lot of coaches, I think are supposed to be professional coaches. And I think that's one thing that we're going to see different this year from the old Bill ways to the new Becky ways. And maybe mm -hmm. that bringing a little more into what the ladies are putting out uh, in regards to performance. So I'm really looking forward to um, catching these games, hopefully meeting with Becky and being able to ask her some questions too. I mean, it's just like the season's going to be great. I'm excited for it. I'm really excited for the WNBA this year. Don't judge. I yeah, love you it. took, you took I love the words it. out of my mouth. Yeah, it's good. Um, they did release though three people. There was the girl they picked up from the Athletes Unlimited, Kalani Brown. They got yeah, rid of their, they yeah, they got rid of um, their third round draft pick that they picked up, the Faustine I, uh, Afua, I believe it is. Mm. And then they got rid of Deja Winters, who they signed after the draft was over as a free agent. So those three are out. I believe there's still some cuts to be made. So we'll see yeah, how that I was goes. Yeah, I say, as the season progresses, we're going to see some people kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think our first home game is on Mother's Day. That's our season opener oh, okay. home game. Although I think our season starts a couple days before. I think we play in Seattle for our opener. Gotcha. So the first week of May is when the WNBA does kick off their official uh, season. So that'll be cool. Um, the Las Vegas Lights, they had their doggy thing last week. I didn't get any pictures. I didn't see any posted, so I don't know if any dogs showed up or not. Um, but they they have moved to night games this Saturday, so they were playing at 7 o'clock. A little bit cooler, although right. it's been kind of this off and on weather pattern out here in Las Vegas. It's up to 80 and 90, then it's down to like 70. So, hey, whatever works. Uh, they played the Galaxy this Saturday. Tickets are on sale. There was a special, I think, through one of the um, – uh, through one of the haircut places out here, soup, I don't know if it was soup, not I want to say super cuts, but that's not it. It was, um, is that even no, 
That's what I'm saying. I don't think that was it. Great clips. It was great clips. So if you go to great clips and get a haircut, yeah, you nice can take haircut. your little receipt and go in and get two free tickets to the lights game. So if you're a great clips person, go get you a haircut and you also get two free tickets to the game. They got fireworks this Saturday. And guess what? They're number four in the, in the, in the West group for the USL. Number oh, four. that's great. I know. That's really good. <laughs> They're four and three, so something's going go right this game. far. We gotta stop playing around and go I know. to a lights game. We've I know. I know. I just been. I know. It's just we gotta get. It. We gotta do it. That's all. We'll make it happen. Um, the Aviators. I know you can't make it, but me and a couple girls will be hitting up the Aviators game tomorrow. Is it going to be two dollar beer night. So if anybody out there wants to come join and hang out and meet us, uh, we'll be at the the Aviators game to hang out and two dollar beer night you can't beat that who's got you cracking up uh, um, <laughs> yeah. one of our viewers uh-huh got me I dying see. a little bit because i understand yeah <laughs> i understand <laughs> i see it too <laughs> i understand sir the I comedy understand. of emojis mm -hmm. also if you can't make the thursday night um two dollar beer night tonight was actually bring your 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 dog to the park and oh. or bring your bark on the park so you can bring your dog on the berm it's also this wednesday and then next wednesday or today nice. and next wednesday uh Very the cool. beer two dollar beer nights are not only are tomorrow but also next thursday and then on Saturday, which I kind of mad I they can't do it the same day, but it's been it's Finn the Bat Dog's T-shirt day. You know oh. I love that dog. That dog is so cute and he's so talented. He so get yourself a Finn the Bat Dog T-shirt at the uh, Las Vegas Aviators game. Oh, <laughs> I know. And they're in a three-way tie for first. So these teams out here yeah. right now in Vegas. We're, well, we're so my teams are really trying to bring and improve themselves. I don't know what yeah. is going on with our um, Silver Kings, though. I needed to tap into that to see what the score is. How I just they're don't doing. want to drive out to Henderson. I know that sounds. Yeah, terrible. I know, but I, I, you know, I gotta tap into them more just to see because you've got the go the hockey semi pro too. We well, and we also when is aren't the aren't, isn't the Arena League too? Is yeah, that the Arena started? League? Yes, yes, already. And then we've also them. got shout out to Stephanie Washington out the Orleans. They also got the three. The three-way hockey or the three-on-three -three hockey, which is crazy to watch. I didn't even know that hockey could be played in a three three-on-three style. So she said three-way, you guys. <laughs> Listen, it's, that's what it's about. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that, and I think the lacrosse is coming too. So we still have the Vegas lacrosse team <laughs> that's going to be joining out here. Oh yeah, you did tell me about that, and that's uh -huh. why too. <laughs> for all our lacrosse for <laughs> Stephanie right three way so funny three way hockey. um well like I said we talked about the Bulls earlier we just saw the Boston pull off the second upset of the Nets so they're now up 2-0 but here's what the finals are looking like so far I don't know who won the Raptors and Sixers game that was on earlier right um let me check but that was just up on my thing yeah, so uh, it's uh, still Boston's... going. It's the fourth quarter, and they're tied up right now, 95. 95. Oh, really? Let's it's go. Yeah, 26.6 okay. seconds left. So. Ooh, yeah. Gosh. Yeah. So this is what it's looking like right now. Um, the Warriors have been amazing. I mean, between Steph coming off the bench, getting 34 points, Jordan Poole coming out with 30 points in like the matter of like a couple quarters, like. Uh, the war is going to be tough. Listen, I'm, I'm watching these Memphis Grizzlies, Kente. I'm not the yeah. Lakers fan that's trying to go for Golden State. Even though I like Golden State, usually technically I'll say sometimes they're my second team. But, I mean, we know what Golden State can do. And I'm glad that they're able to turn it on. And I'm glad that Steve Kerr was able to change up the lineup to have a juggernaut of a starting lineup and include Steph, who's back on his game because yeah. his shooting had gotten Big sloppy time. towards the end before his injury. Um, so I'm excited about that. But I'm more excited about these East Coast games, too. Uh, um, the rivalry of watching Golden State and Denver, however, with Joker getting ejected last game and then they're going to all that drama. Yes, it's very popcorn eating watching time. I give you that. But for the most part, I'm trying to see uh, these Grizzlies that split up the T-Wolves. You know, T-Wolves took a home game from them and yeah. Memphis came back even when they thought Ja was going to be down. And up. No. And he just made a comment today saying everybody that moved to the other side because you thought I was going to be down, stay on that other side. Right, right. I love Ja Morant for that. So I, I'm very entertained by that series right now. I'm entertained with 
Mel's Bulls and Bucks. I'm entertained by, I'm loving it all. <laughs> I'm loving it all. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just sad and unfortunate that my Lakers could not be there to participate in this whole yeah. uh, experience. It kind of makes the playoffs a little more interesting. You know what you it, think? It, it does. But who doesn't have two of the top dynasties in a playoff? Like that should be just always a given. And the drama of taking them out should be the next level. It can't today. always be the dynasties going at it. But listen, With this Nets and Celtics they game. They have to be. That's your. That's who you want to be. You've got to right. try to fight to be them. So why not have them in there to take them out? You know what I mean? To prove yourself, go through us. Go through the Mount Rushmore of both of those leagues. And to see Boston doing what they do and having a solid market mm -hmm. smart. I'm sorry. Yeah, he, he deserved Defensive Player of the Year. I'm not even going against that. That that squad over there in Boston is a problem. I've been yeah. saying that through the regular. And they're season, young. David. Thank you. When you think they're young. <laughs> young. Your little Tito's, your little young Tito's, Tito's are out there doing sense. it. Thank you. They're young. So to see that, it's just like, um, you know, you're you're you, you I can't be mad at it. I hate that they're you there, can't. but I can't hate on them being there. You know yeah. what I mean? So. And, you know, those Celtic fans have been getting at Kyrie and Kyrie went back and forth. He ended up getting like the $50,000 fine. Yeah. You know, you flip people. I mean, here's the deal. It's, it's starting to get egregious that, you know, these fans can do all they want to do to you and you have to just take it in. Yeah, you're getting paid the money. Yeah, you have to deal with it. But at some point, like there's got to be and this was a breaking point. So, I, I mean, honestly, I thought Kyrie was a Zen master. You're, yeah, you're, you're doing but you know, it's also Ramadan, so he's dealing with Ramadan. you know not eating until a certain time, and so I know I get hangry when I haven't ate, let alone play a full NBA game or a half a full, you hey, know I NBA game. Uh, props to anyone that is you know. I get it, that, but not I, even to call gender on it. You're a guy. You're a guy. Yeah. Your strength is supposed to come within the inner. Uh, that's that's up to us. You to know, be, men can't take that. That's all attacks exactly. on our egos. That's where, that's where I'm going because. We're the emotional ones. We're the ones that will break down in the Ramadan. You're supposed to be the strength of that in the Ramadan. Who's going to hold me up if I break down? Now, you going to break down, too? Oh, we both going to be know. on the floor. Like, that doesn't work. But I get it. I mean, he had reached his point. He didn't have to do the gesture. But, you know, he could have he could have just stuck something down. His, like, I don't know. 50000 right. that's a drop and a half for him. It's like 50 cents. So he That's what it is. You know. He ain't tripping. He was able to let it out, I guess. So Devin Booker gets hurt in a, with his hamstring injury and missed, like, the second half of a game that he had basically about – he had 31 points in the first half, uh, game two with the Suns. And – the Pelicans won, and now he's supposed to possibly be out game three and four. Like, what are we doing? Like, how, you know, that's, this is a major hit to the Suns in the first round of the playoffs. Then it's up to Monty Williams, their coach, who got coach Ooh. of the year last season, to yeah. make the necessary adjustments. They still have a squad over there. Yes, Devin Booker is a power shooter, but you still got a team over there, so you're going to have to rise to the occasion because this is where it's pivotal. You didn't suffer any injuries during the regular season. And we always say, you never know in playoff time what these teams are going to do or what's going to happen to them. Can't count well, them and out. Well, Brand Brandon Ingram ran off, too, during that second oh, half of that totally game. Oh, he's former Laker, by the way. Another young Tito who got rid of <laughs> for some stupid stuff. But he did, and rightfully so. I mean, you're going to have to take advantage of this opportunity if Devin Booker is gone from uh, three to four, games three and four. Definitely this is a, a, some sort of an edge and advantage, but it's up to Bonnie and the team and Chris Paul, the general, to, to hey, you got to make those adjustments. And I think and they will. Together. I don't think they I, – I didn't say that New Orleans was going to sweep this series. I did say that they were going to take at least one game. Well, you got your one. Let's just see what Phoenix can do after all of this. But that's, you know, that's tough. Especially if it's not – I mean, right? you know, it'll, it'll be – I don't know. The Pelicans <clears throat> could just surprise a bunch of people. Yeah. I don't know. That's it. it would be interesting. So yeah. the word on the street is Ben Simmons was able to play four and four in practice. The way he's going, he could possibly return Monday for a realistic target for game four of the Nets Celtics. Um, but then Steve, you know, or Steve Nash says, I haven't heard that. This is news to me. So interesting take on what may or may not be able to happen with Ben Simmons. Of course, and then how does he fit back into this, you know, three-headed monster or five-headed monster they have over there right now that's not seeming to to make it all the way to make a win? Is he yeah, going to fit in help or is he going to, you know, make it more of an issue? I just, I'm more surprised that these coaches aren't getting the memo on their players. 
or on the status of their own jobs. Like, how do you not get the memo that Ben Simmons was doing? Like, I, I'm so confused by that right now. And that, my thing that is, it, is it maybe a ploy that he just doesn't want people to rethink that he's coming back so that he'll just come back and be back in the, I don't know. Maybe, because I just don't understand how you wouldn't. Uh, oh, it's 46-41, Mel, with five minutes and 12. You're up by um, five right now. And the Raptors are going into overtime. Oh, yeah. Figured that with 26 seconds left. That's crazy, No one can make a move. Ooh, Boy, no stops, no time, nothing. Nobody gets it. And one, nothing in the 26 seconds. Nobody on a shooting foul to go to the line. End it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, also, luca has been out. So he's yeah. uh, now questionable. He was um, doubtful for the first two games he missed. Now we're moving on to game three. And now it says that he is questionable. So it's kind of like, a, is he returning? Is he not returning? Yeah. Is he coming? We'll see. And then last little tidbit on the NBA Mr. J.R. Smith, he got an NIL deal with Lulu Lemon that will make him the brand's golf ambassador. So look at Mr. Yeah, J.R. Cool. going back to college, rocking school, on the golf team, and gets an NIL. He's probably the oldest guy that has an NIL. But In college. Hey, yes. Take that. Take yeah, that. for real. <laughs> I love it. And the fact that they're doing the NIL out of an HBCU format, too, is great. Like, the fact that it gets that exposure, too. I'm loving it. Amazing. Um, there was one a WNBA note. So there was a, the rookie at a UConn, Kristen Williams, who was drafted number 14 by the Mystics. She suffered a knee injury that's going to end her season at practice today. So um, our right. thoughts with her. And it's an unfortunate, you know, rookie season, you get drafted and then bam, yeah, that's training that camp and you get injured for the season. So yeah. that's terrible. Other terrible things that are happening. So the Mariners had a great home season opener. They kicked the Astros' butt 11 to 1. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, yeah, it was great on Friday. But then, and Mitch Hanniger had a great game. Cut to Saturday, Mitch Hanniger's on the COVID 19 list. Cut to yesterday, uh, Louis Torrens is on the list. And then today, our manager, Servais, and the Third Beach Coast are all on the COVID 19 list. So there's a little bit of a COVID breakout with the Seattle Mariners right now. And I'm hoping that um, it doesn't spread any further. Cause... Man, don't let it come to us. Because <sighs> we showed our butts in it. Or maybe it's recently. Seattle. Or I don't know, maybe that travel, you know, master, you don't got to wear a mask on planes. You don't got to wear a mask in airports no more. So I don't know, but they better not come to Dodger land. We don't need it, especially coming off of this Atlanta situation. <laughs> we did our thing in Atlanta. They got a game away from us yesterday, but we took it back today. <laughs> And uh, it was good reunion to see Kenley Jansen out there. It was good reunion to see Freddie Freeman, who did a homer, a first homer yes. of the season in Atlanta. One, two, Freddie's coming for you. Mm -hmm. You guys better be careful, honey. We're singing the Freddie Krueger song for Freddie now. So Your Freddy Dodgers is... are on fire. Like, Listen, I mean... we, hey, we go be on fire. Have you seen our lineup? And then we have to Well, you and... spend all that money. I guess you got to be. Yeah, we better be. And we better go to the <laughs> World Series with this. You know, the thing of it is, is... Um, for us to have Clayton Kershaw be the starting pitcher yesterday, and we still ended up uh, not having um, our bats warm and losing on that one, just kind of – I didn't get a chance to look at that game, but just to gotcha. – I got questions. If Goose is still watching, what had happened? I need to know. And I know you're happy that you got one win off of us, but it's not going to happen again. But it's okay. You know what Freddie was. Yeah, it's, okay. <laughs> it's early. I'm taking all that I can because here's the deal. We are going to make the playoffs this year. Mark my words today. The playoffs, we will break the 21-year curse. It's happening this year, and yeah. uh, I'm excited for that. What's up, That's Guru? It. We haven't heard from you yeah, in a while. Up? We appreciate so I, I you tuning in. I got your huh? text. Guru, I got your text. I didn't get your call. I got your text saying that you were watching, so I appreciate the love. I couldn't oh. shout you out, so thanks for Letting Thank us know, you. Sir. Yes, yeah. yes, for All sure. All the way from Tampa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Guy from Tampa. We love Tampa. Um, let's see. There was oh the Padres. That's right. So this yeah. will be interesting how this goes. The Padres are the first MLB team to have a uniform ad deal. So Motorola, which A, I didn't even know was around anymore. <laughs> The Motorola logo will be worn on jerseys um, starting next season. So I'm curious to know this being the first, you know, if the rest of the league is going to get with it as well. But like the Motorola, I don't even know, what does Motorola make right now? I just keep thinking two-way pagers and, and flip phones and I don't know. Listen, I had a BlackBerry by Motorola and I hope they bring that thing back because my BlackBerry was everything. Yeah, they bring a BlackBerry back. I'll, I'll go. 
I'll go. You gonna swap? I'll go. Yeah, why not? If it's like set up, like I'll go for sure. Give me off Verizon uh. though. Y'all tripping. <laughs> but I, uh, I, I would go. I love my BlackBerry. It was hard for me to park with a BlackBerry to go. See, through I love my two way, but yeah, I had that too. But I loved yeah. the BlackBerry. It was my two way and phone at once, and that keyboard was everything. I mean, that's the reason why I think people and ask me, like, well, how do you middle? text so fast? And I'm like, I had a two way. Like, that's I just all I had. That's all I needed. <laughs> and that little ball in the middle that has you navigating on the man, bring all that back. I'm good with I that. Can't, I can't. I can't. I have that. that. I'm good with I that. I wasn't about that. I I'm wasn't good about with that. all of that. Shoot, yes, my phone's yes. small. My phone falls on my foot now. It's broken. I'm not doing. Uh, give me that. This heavy otter box. This heavy phone. Let me, let me go back to the Motorola. I'm uh, right. um, Blackberries. I'm I'm willing to see it. I'm willing to see it. Okay, Guru, we're we gonna make a way to Tampa. That's for sure. It's gonna happen. I know I'm gonna make it there. Listen, I got friends in down south in Naples. I don't know. And stuff. I don't know. I, I, listen. You guys are wilding out. You're bugging right now in Florida. You're bugging out. I gotta see. They bugging you. everywhere. They're what are you talking Florida. about? Florida's the one that did the whole travel thing. They made that decision. Florida's the one that does the most. Florida stories get the most donkey of the days. Y'all got me. Y'all got me tripping right now. Y'all bugged out in Florida right now. Let me just see how the summer goes. I might have to come in a winter season. Y'all wilding. Yo, Jorge wow. said uh, Maria's watching. Oh, she Maria. Hello. You still at work, Jorge. <laughs> Shout out to my Nordstrom crew. Shout out to Maria, one of the best yes. in the biz. I've learned a lot from her. Aww. Salute to you watching. Thank you. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, you guys. So next week, it's official. The NFL draft is coming to Las Vegas. Let me tell Ooh. you, I personally haven't ventured down to the Strip because I know it's gonna. it's been a cluster down there for the last week, couple weeks while I prepare they were almost finished with building the over the water stage by the Bellagio fountains. Nice. They'll have people doing entrances and stuff like that. Then they got a whole other section behind the link and the link promenade and the Ferris wheel that you see there. It's going to have the NFL experience as mm -hmm. well as the NFL stage where most of the drafting will take place from. Listen, it's going to be a whole experience. Yeah, I'm you can excited. download that NFL experience so you can get into the draft. It has a little QR and everything. Yeah, so, so I wanted that, to so. show somebody. I wanted yeah. to kind of mention that. So the NFL, it's the NFL um, the NFL One Pass. Right. It's an app in your app store. Just follow along, and here's kind of some of the things. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, they've got like little scan codes that you can scan different yeah. things when you stop. Yeah, I will I be did. there. I've officially put in my I'm not coming to work today notice in. So Thursday, if you're watching, you can catch me at the NFL draft. I will be there. Um, Mo, you're welcome to come hang out on Thursday, you know. Yeah, I'm I, here's the deal. It's not only has I have I never been to a draft live. But the fact that it's in Vegas and my team currently has a bunch of picks because I'm sure at some point they're going to trade down and go crazy. But we've got, you know, good picks. So I'll be able to see at least a couple of picks taken, you know, live. And I love the draft. I, I'll watch the draft every year, all, all rounds. Right. Shout out to yeah. my uh, new manager, Antonio Watchy. Oh, my God. I got all this Nordstrom love. <laughs> He's fabulous, by the way. I, I'm just so in love with Antonio. Thank you so much for tuning Aww. in and your support. His Shout TikToks are hilarious. Yes. He's, he's, oh, he's really? A great guy. Yeah, he's got TikToks that are just hysterical. Work related TikToks, and it just has you, uh, you know, a point of reference. It makes it yeah. funny. It's cute, you know. So, shout out to him watching. Thanks. Oh, is Jorge at work right now? Maria's at work. Jorge's at work. And oh, Tokyo is working. Must be slow, you guys. <laughs> yeah. money too. I mean, well, hey, listen, I'm not going to be a hater that you're not watching, that you're watching me, but. Hey. You got a little downtime. It's a little break. I, I love it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for That's really cool. I love yeah. it. <laughs> Team Nordy. So. And just for the record, too, if you guys are shopping for stuff, we do have the Fanatics QR code code with Nordstrom. You can order oh. and purchase some items, some exclusive oh. items off the Fanatics website through Nordstrom. Is there a style board yet? You know what? I will style board you. How about that? 
I will Thank stop you. for you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Get you some Seahawks Listen. stuff right in time for draft. I so mean, we'll you know, yeah. I got, it. I got yes. it. And Vegas Raiders if you want like a little button or something. <laughs> I got a girl chat sports button for that. I, hey, that's even that's better. That's better. That's better. With that. And if you run into me on NFL draft uh, experience, come find me or locate me. Hopefully, Verizon is working by that time. Because yeah, you know, I'll have some girl chat sports pins. I don't have them one on me right in front of me, but I'll have those with me. They pass out some people that we find and. and Maybe con some people into wearing a few too. So yes, give me a, a few of them too when I yeah, see you, so I, I can do. pass them out for work that weekend too. Uh, for sure, for, for my sure. fans now. Yes. Um, the other NFL news, which I don't know, is sound, I saw something. Shout out to Let the Ball Bounce. Somebody had posted something in there. So Debo oh, Samuel yeah. early this morning um, yeah. said that he wanted out of the 49ers. Yeah, but didn't say was, why? Didn't say why. Um, because you know, a couple of days ago, they had mentioned that he was in talks to you know for his contract extension. Mm -hmm. Then that at some point he just stopped stopped participating, and then today was he wants out. Well, Debo had a tweet apparently that he deleted, which saying that you know media or you know news ain't people always want to you know make up stories that only the you know the people involving know. So we didn't know if that I don't know if that means that this is wrong and we have it wrong, or if maybe he just I don't know. But why would you delete it? I don't know. Yeah. So it's out there now. I mean, it's the out there. It's possible it's that, there. you know, and you know, the Niners are not going to get rid of him unless it's they're getting picks. Like we saw, right. um, we saw what, uh, what's his face to Miami got um, Cheetah. Oh, I can't uh, think of his name right now. I know who you're talking about. I anyway, from the Chiefs to the to the Dolphins, we saw what he got. He had got there was like a first rounder, a second and third round for this year, and then I think a fifth or sixth for next year. So he's getting like four picks. Okay. So I'm sure Debo is going to want something similar. And here's the deal: the Niners wouldn't have gotten into the playoffs or been won a game in the playoffs had not been for Debo Samuel. Right. That man that is all over the place. All How over the 49er place. Niners fans feeling about that goose? If you're in, chime in. Yeah, um, tree kill. I'm, that I'm was it. Yeah. See how? I'm, yeah, I'm curious to see how that how that is. Um, apparently, Goose is that uh, he wants to be the highest paid non QB. Um, listen, he's phenomenal. I would love to have him on the Seahawks. He's a great player. I'll put it, you know, that way. But the highest paid, that's gonna be tough. Yeah, well, not right off, not right, right off your rookie contract. I, I what don't is see going that. on? I'm looking at this box score, not to change the subject, but you mm -hmm. guys are up. It's 6349. Is somebody out? That, that's what <laughs> Who I'm is having the, the box Who's having everybody a game? Everybody's actively playing. Everybody's wow. actively playing. I mean, I did They're bet not, Chicago plus 12 and a half. I so. mean, Drew Holiday only has six points right now. DeRozan has 17. Chris Levine Milton's has 14. Three. Boy, they shutting down Chris Milton, it looks like. I'm just not able That's to watch the That's the issue. They, is it, it's not that the Bulls are doing exceptionally crazy. They're also shutting down They're shutting down the Bucks. They're, well, that's what I'm saying. Like three points for Chris Middleton, and we're in the halftime Only right two now? in Buck. Only two for the Bucks were in double digits. Yeah. Brooke Lopez wow. and Giannis. And they're only ah. 14 points. Sheesh. Okay. Take it. If you could take a home court, you need this is the time to do it. I'd hate for you guys to go. DeMar DeRozan just, I think he just went crazy. 17 points right now at halftime, not bad. Mm -hmm. Going crazy. He's going to go crazy. Zach Levine kind of going a little crazy too. 20 well, they play, need it. Hey, let's get one in Milwaukee and come back to Chicago and yeah, take you do. two. Yeah, That's why I said this will be your night to do it. This could be the Cinderella time. upset story. Who knows? Uh, I don't know about like... all that now. I'm not going to do that <laughs> Let's be real now. I know 420 hey, amongst us. I can I dream. I can dream, uh, right? Yeah, can, I can girl. put it into the universe. I can try and manifest this as much as possible. Hey, Come Martin on, let me did. have it. I don't see why you couldn't. Absolutely. Hey, see? Hers, it might not, I might need a little bit more time for that manifestation. <laughs> to hit. It might come next year. But... You guys, this is what we wanted to see, though. Caruso is back. He's been long since yes. the second half of the season out on injury. You got a healthy DeMar DeRozan. You got a healthy Zach Levine back. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is what we wanted to see. We wanted to see what the Bulls can do. I'm not going to be mad either way. I, I, I'm loving to see a great series. I don't want to see a blowout. So if this is what we, we're getting, I'm all for it. I'm totally all for it. So 
all the keep way. Keep it going. Forward. If you guys take a win, I, I I can't be mad at that. You guys played up. That's just what it right. is. Right. Absolutely. Um, I did want to just touch on a girl power moment real quick before we get into some sneakers. Uh, this happened on last Tuesday yes. on the 12th. Alyssa Nacken from the San Francisco Giants, <clears throat> Gabe Kessler, um, mm -hmm. became the first woman to coach a regular season MLB game on the field. She took over first base coaching from uh, Coach Richardson, who had been injected in the third right. inning due to his issues with the other coach from um, – from the Padres. This is her third year with the Giants, but listen, talk about a story for girls power and for little girls coming up. Girls of this game thinking, wow, there is a girl out there on the on the field coaching. That's just an amazing and amazing story. And she gets to work story. with Gabe Kapler. I mean, how, how nice listen, to see him every day <sighs> and talk to him and communicate with him about first base. If we have anybody the out there in the in the Giants organization or in the media that want to help us access right. our ability to stock um, Gabe K Kabler's um, yeah. that yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, because Instagram is not cutting. It's just not enough for me. Right? I need you more. I need more guy. from him. I need, more. I need way more. And, and the Padres, not for nothing, have been on some Mitch stuff that series last week. You know, got yeah. a blowout game. Uh, you, you lost a a major blowout game, and you're going to accuse the freaking San Francisco Giants of bunting in a bunt play when they're already ahead. Well, why'd you let those runs go through, sir? Like, that was just crazy anyway within itself, and then you're going to make up an excuse. Well, they shouldn't have to do a bunt in the late innings like that. It's not fair. What? You gave up the runs. What do you mean? They can play any way they want to. There's no rules against that. Yeah, there was a lot so of different stories game. that were kind of taken over the whole thing, yeah. but yeah i'm not with it don't get gabe so. high fired up i don't want him to get mad <laughs> although he might look really hot when he's mad too i don't know like i don't know but i don't want him to, i don't want i just want to see in person like that. that's all let me just catch yeah. him in person we're gonna make I a trip to the day we're to seeing be, i just don't want my husband <laughs> to be upset like that Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, so into some sneaker drops now. I don't want to get all of you, if you're watching this show and you've been partaking in 420 holiday, don't think these are happening and coming out right now. This is just a concept. Right. A concept sneaker. So right. bear with us. This, of course, would be <laughs> the Air Jordan if 4. If they were to do a Jordan. If they, like were they were to do a, a Jordan 4 for 420, 420, this is what it would look like. Now, I, I don't know. I'm not sure about the, the, the leaf on the tongue. I think now if the leaf were like gold or something and like on the side of a shoe, like on the back, like the outside heel kind of area, like where usually you would see kind of little inscriptions or, yeah. or patterns. I think that would be interesting, but yeah. Shout out to house of heat for this. But I, to me, Adidas will always be the forever. Oh yeah. <laughs> <Or 20 shoe. laughs> if you get a pair of green Stan Smiths, the leaf is there. <laughs> That's all it takes. And you're there. Boom. The yeah. leaf is on the back, and you're straight. To be honest, it's always with you. the the. But the if Jordan foe. were to come out with a shoe, and yeah. who knows if the if the country gets fully legalized, you never know. Like, I mean, it's legal in most state. states now, at least all. medically, if right. not but, more. But not, but not, you know, how correct. we are, or Seattle, correct. you know, or Cali, or Denver, and Portland, and all those other great places. But right. that's if the whole country gets to that matrix and that which it probably will. This would be a concept shoe that probably could be accepted, possibly. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Shout out to John Weeks. I just had to check real quick if what he told me was was true, and he's like, "No." So uh, the Kraken, of course, have a game tonight. This is off mm -hmm. subject of our seekers, but the right. Kraken have a game tonight. They're all in their green uniforms. They call it the the Green Night, which is supposed to be for green, you know, the healthy yeah. earth, and right. you know. Um, taking Recycle. care of Earth. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So they're, the guys had green jerseys on for practice, and so they're auctioning them to make some money and to support the green causes. And he had told me, yeah, they're going to be giving out um, a joint for the first 10,000 fans. And I said... Well, when you told me that, I was like, wait a minute. Stop. Smoke in the arena. I was like, no, that but work? here's the deal. Seattle was like one of the first places that legalized. Right. And also, if you just go travel to Seattle, that's all you smell when you walk around. Like people are smoking out in the open all the time. Well, so it would be interesting yeah. to see what it's out what it's like outside in the smoking area of like the arena. Yeah. I guess today. Everybody would be out there. The balcony would probably collapse because that's the whole <sighs> arena having to be out Listen. there because no one can smoke inside the arena. 
Yeah. Yeah. Insane. Um, so we didn't get to talk about it because we didn't have a show last week, but Giannis and Uno had put together a whole collection. <laughs> the Uno and Giannis freak, uh, freak, the freak three. And then I think there was also like a, it's not in the, oh yeah. On the top, very left thing. There was like a air force one or something. Um, I saw the goofy sneakers. Yes. I saw the whole dude. And I <laughs> yesterday, like, I whatever. think, was yellow. Yesterday was the yellow zest. Today was the yellow zest. They did red yesterday. Tomorrow is this true blue or photo blue, they call it. It's going to be it's the, gr- it's the Velcro across the tongue for me. Uh, like, it's a lot of things. Beyond, it's a lot of things beyond. It's a goofy yeah. concept. I mean, I get it. I'm a Uno person, but I'm also a Spades person. Put out a Spades sneaker. I mean, I love Spades, but you know, it's also Giannis. So you know, this is the guy that was like when he tried his first smoothie and tweeted like, "Hey, U.S., I love these things called smoothies." So maybe he got addicted to Uno when he came to the states, and this is like his homage to uh, his favorite card game now. <laughs> I, hey, I get it. I mean, Uno can get serious. <laughs> I would love to see right. a game show with right, a where right, you win right. money and probably get real deathly serious. But oh I mean, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot. Yeah, but, is it no better than the goofy fruity pebbles? I mean, this it's gimmicky. I mean, they're it's they're doing a lot with money. shoes these days, if and it keeps going it, on on on. Them, it's going to be astounding, especially if he wins another championship or whatever, and you get him signed. I mean, I get it, but it's goofy. <laughs> it's yeah. goofy. It's kitschy. It's goofy. Um, the Air Force won the Billy Eilish, the mushroom. Yeah, what is up with Velcro? Are we going back to the 80s real quick? I you know just... what's so fr- frustrating if you wear these? It's the sound, on. too. It's the sound that it's those the sound, have to it's make. It's the lip balls on the Velcro. It won't fully Velcro the way it needs to after the lip balls get on it because you're wearing sweats or you around some cart, whatever the case may be. <laughs> the Velcro wants you up, feel that so back. You see all those ugly. lip balls in it and you can't get them out. Now, I would you love a nothing. color shoe like this. I would love the color of the shoe. You've got one, but... two, three, four, oh five Velcro strips that look like Band-Aids in the flesh. Like, color. there's no I, way I, you're I sneaking out of somebody's house putting your shoes on with these suckers. Not even in the, you better keep them on. You better keep them <laughs> or on. Or walk out barefooted with your socks. You better try something new and keep them on. Lit. Oh, you my You want to be in the heels? Well, I got to have these on. These don't come off. <laughs> Listen, right. you, you better keep them on. Is all I can say. <laughs> I'd be ready to bounce. Terrible, to terrible, terrible. Wake terrible, people yeah. up in the middle of the night. Donnell said it's a no for yeah, him. Yeah, no for everybody. I mean, it, it's said they're terrible. very orthopedic looking. <laughs> orthopedic shoes. That's disrespect to the Hoka and the On Cloud game for all the orthopedic sneakers. They flyer than these. You got one, two, three, four, five Velcro straps. Like I said, you're not able to make, you're not able to sneak out of in with anywhere or out of anywhere with them shoes. It's yeah, be care, very careful getting those. That's and the color is terrible. Thing. It's a mushroom, but what is your top? I like the color. It wasn't bad. Like if you needed like a, t- a khaki kind of color, maybe. I look kind of khaki. Make out the color. I don't even know how to describe that color. What is that? I don't know. Well, they named it the mushroom. So for all of my youth sized women, thank you, Miss Bondi. Um, Shout or- out to you. Oh, shut up. Yeah, it's a no. It's a no. Five Velcro straps? Really? You got to be locked in that tight, huh? Oh, God. I just couldn't imagine. Imagine getting all the lip balls in those five straps. And imagine not being able to pull it off. Lint hairs, the dog hairs. I mean, just anything. Think about if your foot gets swollen or you wear some thick socks and you can't Velcro it all the way. You you can't travel on an airplane with those. Your your legs are going to hangle. Remember when people had the partial Velcro because the Velcro strap can't go all the way to close it? So you have a piece of the Velcro out there and it sticks onto something else? That's the problem with those shoes. You got five, uh, five straps. Or you got like one of them fat feet, and so you can't even close the velcro all the way, so it just opens. The velcro's extended out of the tip, and then you get the limp balls on that, and then it's dirty and it's brown looking. Like, come on, stop it! Five of those—that's that problem. (laughs) All right, so for my fellow uh, youth-sized wearing sneaker heads out there, just so you know, the UNCs, the uh, the the sixes—they are returning, re-releasing youth and kids sizes only 
on the 27th of April. So mark your yeah, calendar. Little pe- foot people. I better not meet a, I better not meet a guy that has a youth size. I swear to God. Oh God, no. I mean, I'm talking like if your kids want them, if you're a woman no, that can wear it. an eight and a half. I get it. You know. I just don't want to see a grown man with a youth size. They tell me they're seven wide. I'm just going to run. <laughs> Go the other way. What was that one shoe that we get? There was a guy that shopped at Nordstrom's that had because he got the gold, the gold hoop ones that I want. You're like, oh, they're eight or something. <laughs> He did. <laughs> he bought him. Oh, it wasn't a coworker guys out there. Yeah, that's the that. I, I saw the guy. I saw the guy. He was on a Tory Lanez bag too. He was on a Tory Lanez bag. Just to put you some context of the height right. and the size. He was on a Tory right. Lanez bag. He was short he's, complex. He's, he's sitting there dangling. He's dangling with the hoops. <laughs> oh God. He was all about it. Stop. Hey, brother. Oh, oh all brother. right. So we also got hat. the um, Air Jordan 11 lows. These are for women only. Of course, there'll probably be some guys you oh, see cotton wear them. <laughs> uh, of course, this is a pure violet, and these come out on 428. They're you know what's pretty. funny? They're pretty. I like them. I like stuff. Um, what I noticed a lot of on Bel Air, uh, Will had a lot of women's, women's Jordans on. There was like at least two, if not three, that I saw him wearing through all the episodes that he was. Well, the, the, the colors are, are good, neutral to do. Yeah, then they're brightly colored and they've got some flash of the sass. I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You know, typically are very blues, blacks, grays. That's it. Like, yeah. we need more or I, red. I just, I don't know. I just was like, okay, well, hey. All right. Yeah, I heard that season finale was a womp. Yeah. yeah and we'll yeah, see I'm if there's a season two or not. No, I'm, glad, I'm glad I didn't waste my time with that. I liked it. I mean, I so like the build the up to have a season finale womp like that. Better call Saul's back on for all my Breaking Bad. Better call Saul, people. Two hour premiere was. I gotta. Night. I stopped get watching that it. during like the first season, so I gotta get back into that. Yeah, get back into it. The last season yeah. is on, and it was good too. For two hours, okay. it gave us two hours. I was happy about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, uh, there's a new Jordan 13, the Retro Navy. Coming out on the 29th of April. Again, another blue neutral for a guy. I know. It's just like all the blacks and blues ever yeah. in life. Yeah. That's why they wear the women's colorways. <laughs> I don't blame them. Yeah. I would too. <laughs> That's why I can respect the dunk game a little bit because at least the dunks will go out of the box and just make it like neutral for everybody, but enough colors where it goes. It pieces both both right. parties, you know? So. Right. Right. No, I hear you. But those are fly. That's a wrap for us. I'm going to catch the second half of the Bulls game yeah. and hope my guys can pull through and take one this night. Um, Give me hey, a favor, everybody. Keep your hat on. Don't take the hat off. Yes. That's a great luck of manifestation. You got hey, I'm going to keep it on. Keep it, keep on. it on. And so everybody out there that has been checking in, that has put, uh, been listening and watching with us, thank you so much. Feel free to share this. If you just caught the end of it, Feel free to watch the replay. It'll happen. You can just replay this on whatever streaming network you're using. Feel right. free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be back again next Wednesday. Our show will be a special after dark session. So make sure to stay tuned next Wednesday. We'll keep you posted on a time. And that's it for now. We appreciate you guys. Yes. Thanks for tuning in. See you next Thank week. Thank you. All right. Bye.